Welcome to the last recording of the uh, SAP navigation exercise. In this one we're going to do steps 5 through 8. Uh, so what I want to make sure that you see here on step 5 is that we, uh, as I've mentioned to you before, SAP is very transaction based because what we're really trying to do, once again, is we're trying to get information either into our database or we're trying to extract information from our database and we use transaction codes to get us there. So one of the first things that's important uh, in SAP is being able to tell which transaction codes you need. Because there are over 10,000 transaction codes in SAP, most people though only have about uh, 10 or 12 that they typically use. So here's what I want to be able to, for you to see are these transaction codes. Um, and to be able to, to display your transaction codes in SAP so you know how to get back there in the future. So we're on uh, this page here in the PDF, um, but if you go back over to SAP, um, in your SAP GUI, we can go in here and click on more, and then go to extras, and then inside of extras, we're going to go to settings, click on settings, and we are going to display technical names. Click the checkbox. And now what we've just done with that uh, process, if we go now into logistics, materials management, and we'll just go to purchasing, purchase order, you now see that the code for each one of those things is now displayed for you. So very, very, very helpful. So if you are not seeing these codes, um, you, that's the way to, to get into it is to, to go back in and make those things happen. Okay, so very important for you to be able to get there. That's the main thing I wanted you to be able to see in step five. Step six is about the help desk um, in this and help inside of uh, SAP. You can click on more uh, you can go to help. You can look up things inside of the, the help area uh, and that's one way to do it. However, the thing that you get more frequently though um, in this, let's pull up a transaction code, uh, VA01. So I just typed in VA01, I hit enter. Uh, this transaction is to create a sales document. So for creating sales documents, that is uh, that's where we've just gone to. There are two uh, function keys I want you to, to get and one of them is the F1 key. So if we click down here on distribution channel and so what we would be doing right now in creating a sales document would we would be trying to put information into the system um, for the sales document. I clicked on distribution channel and from this you can hit the function key F1 and it will bring up information about the distribution channel or if we go back to distribution channel again and you just hit the little uh, magnifying glass it will bring up the different distribution channels that you have from here you can double click on whichever one you want okay and double clicking on it brings in uh, the distribution channel the sales organization and everything else there so let me get rid of these. Um, so that is the F1 feature. It also shows you the magnifying glass feature. Let's go instead up here to the order type. And under order type, the minute you click under order type, you can once again hit your function F4 key. Function F4 brings up this screen to where you could go in and double click on whatever you're looking for. Or you could just click on the little sales document type expand block and it brings up the exact same stuff for you. So again that's F1, F4, you can get to the exact same things though by just clicking on the, the little view. The importance of being able to do it this way, um, once again I left clicked it, is to make sure that you don't accidentally make a typo because if you wanted CBOS for a credit sheet, if you double clicked on it uh, double left click it brings in exactly the uh, information you need so great point there 
Um, next thing I want you to take a look at is the multiple selection um, key. Let's go ahead, let's go back to our main menu again. So that was step six that we just finished. Step seven is multiple selection. Uh, we're going to type in MMBE transaction. Hit enter. In the MMBE transaction, um, yours probably whenever it popped up looked like this. So what we're really trying to do is we're trying to do a, a stock check. And we're trying to stock check our stock um, based on a storage location. So type in DXTR1000. That's one of our that's one of our bicycles. As a matter of fact, it brings it up and you can see Deluxe Touring Bike Black. Uh, double left click on that to make sure it's entered in correctly. Now, which plants do we want to look at? Um, let's look at the Dallas plant. And if, once again, I use the magnifying glass. I'm going to double left click on the Dallas plant. And let's say we want to check to see what's, uh, what's in Dallas um, and Miami. So I started typing in MI. It brings it up for me. Okay, we could have also here, we could have just clicked, clicked on the magnifying glass. It would have brought them up. I could have double clicked here and would have brought it in. And so from that, we want to look at the plants from Dallas, Miami. Come down here and execute. And it says that this black deluxe touring bike um, it gave us the Dallas plant, told us that we have 250 unrestricted use. Miami, we have 100 uh, unrestricted use, but it also brought in the Heidelberg plant. So it brought in the Heidelberg plant because what we just did was we did a range search. And that range search was a range from everything from Dallas to Miami. And because Heidelberg is alphabetically between them, it brought it in as well. So if we don't want to look at the Heidelberg stuff, let's go back to the screen before. And once we get back to the screen before, let's click our multiple sele selection block this time. Uh, let's go to select ranges because that's what we had before. We really don't want to range. We really want to delete these. So I'm deleting this row. Now let's select individual values and if you come down to multiple selections um, clicked on multiple selection I'm gonna choose Dallas double left clicked it oh, it didn't like it let's click on it and then let's click the copy button see if it comes in that way good and now let's go ahead and let's get Miami so again we'll click Miami We'll click the copy button. Now that we have them in there, we can come back down here to our little copy F8 button. That brings them in. Now let's see if we can execute. Now the execute just brings in the Dallas plant and the Miami plant. So that's what I wanted to make sure that you got for uh, step seven, just so that you can go and you know that you can uh, see those multiple selections and how to be able to pull that off. And then the very last thing that you have to do for um, step eight is to log off. Um, if you come up here and click on the exit button, that'll get you back out. And then once we come here, click on exit again, and it says, do you want to log off? Unsaved data will be lost. Um, you've saved everything, so do you want to log off? Just click yes and you've logged off of SAP. And that is what we're trying to get accomplished here. You've completed the SAP navigation and hopefully know a little bit better now of how to move around inside of SAP.